In this video, we are going to discuss about network time protocol, the protocol which synchronizes time across network devices. Hi, my name is Sudhanshu and on behalf of iMetadata team, I welcome you to this video. So let's talk about network time protocol or NTP in short. Basically, network time protocol is very crucial in time synchronization across multiple network devices. Okay, a lot of things depend on time. Example, let's say we want to pull out log entries of maybe yesterday's some things that have happened on the network. And if the time is not accurate in that log entry, there will be a big problem. You will not really know like, okay, when did this interface go down or when did this interface come up or similar things like for logs. Similarly, a lot of times we have network policies which implement something based on time. For example, let's take a scenario. We have a college and we have a policy that all the social media access gets allowed after the college hours. So for maybe the host plus. So suppose we want to allow social media access just after 4 p.m. in the evening. Now, again, we are dependent on time. If time is not synchronized properly, there is going to be an issue. So where, what does network time protocol do in this? NTP basically helps network engineers to synchronize time across multiple network devices. You can synchronize time between your routers, switches, firewalls, and many other devices. Okay, And let's take an example to understand its working. Basically, there are two devices. Okay, uh, There will be an NTP server, there will be an NTP client. Okay. NTP server gives time to NTP client and uh, basically client will ask before NTP server gives it uh, to be precise and when you consider network time protocol suppose a client is configured with multiple network time protocol servers now what do you do about it we have to have some form of method to know who is more accurate for this let's take an example in this image and if you consider this, I have taken this directly from the Wikipedia page. And when you look at this, there are, there are devices across the world which are called something called atomic clock. Okay. Now, atomic clock is basically the most accurate source of time that human beings have built. And if we have a device that is directly synchronized or attached to an atomic clock and it delivers time further, so basically this person here is acting as an NTP server suppose for this person okay now here the client asks for time and server delivers it but since this is this server is directly attached to atomic clock it will say my stratum is zero stratum zero means you have an atomic clock directly attached to you and similar to that okay stratum is spelled as s-t-r-a-t-u-m okay Stratum basically defines the accuracy of the time. Suppose, let's take an example of this guy. Okay. Suppose I tell him that I have this as NTP server. And similarly, I have also configured this device for this device as an NTP server. Okay. So it has two NTP servers configured. Now, basically, since this device will be a level 2 or a stratum 2 device the time from this device is more accurate right so considering that if this is acting as a client it will prefer a lower stratum number lower the stratum number more accurate the time sources okay so that's about the basics of network time protocol thanks for watching